Hello guys, uh, welcome back. It's me, Hawk16, and today we are going to go back to our uh, sec second video of um, how to create on Blender for IMBU. Um, as you remember the last time, you have to open the t-shirt or one file for dot blend. So today we are going to continue with the teacher t-shirt when you open it's going to be like this and today I'm going to bring you the um, UV ungrab um, tutorial so you would know how how this um, this works uh, I'll explain it very briefly it's not as hard as it as it seems um, about the screencast and um, well as you remember uh, we have to in our t-shirt it doesn't have any any wrinkles any nothing uh, out of out of, of uh, as a normal t-shirt is plain and simple uh, so well first of all we are going to um, uh, we are going to um, modify the back so we don't have this overlapping first of all we are going to grab this vertices here let's make sure that yeah uh, G to grab Y to go to this uh, to the y-axis and pull it back a little so that way it's okay that is this you know there's there's a gap pretty pretty you know um, uh, it's a really consistent gap between the skin and the the in the the t-shirt but that's because we don't want we don't want to get overlapping uh, anymore so what we are going to do right let's pull this up a little bit also G Z axis and I guess right there it would be nice um, and this tree from this side and the other side um, so yeah uh, we we want this to look as simple and basic no, no, no we don't need to to go uh, really far to the um, uh, detail uh, before we uh, are uh, over the, the over, uh, over the we don't have to go as detailed as we as you may think uh, first of all we will, because this is a basic tutorial then we are going uh, once you have seen how this uh, tool works we are going to go further on how to make details wrinkles uh, and well everything that could be make it um, that could make this t-shirt look uh, a little more uh, realistic right um, so well now that we uh, fix the the back fix the the, the sleeves we are going to unwrap it this means that we need to as as is a candy let, let's so that means uh, so we have to unwrap it uh, that means uh, that we have to make this uh, 3D um, mesh, right? The 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 T-shirt. Um, we have to make it square, like plain square. Uh, it's on, the the word on grab, as you might as you might think. It it means that. Uh, it means let's think that our avatar is a candy so it's and and the and the t-shirt is a is a the graft uh, uh, on the paper of that candy so 
what we have to do is open it up so we have that paper as a plane every every candy has a has a you know uh, has a square paper uh, which is going to, you know, to grab the candy so uh, basically is that we want this 3d uh, this 3d um, mesh become a 2d mesh a, a 2d um, design so what we are going to do is go right here where the cursor is going to um, it's going to change hold uh, hold up pick and we are going to open a parallel um, a parallel window so right now we're going to hit T and M you can see here and we are going to go to the UV editor um, now that we are on the UV editor oops um, we are going to make the seams the seams are going to separate this t-shirt and in you know the front back uh, the front the back and the sleeves the sleeves have to be separated from the from the front and the back of the t-shirts because if not it's going to feel like it's all um to stretch just uh it's it's look like stretching something so we rather have the sleeves the sleeves uh, separated so as you can see I use the edge tool here right and select this, this three edges and we are going to round this um, these edges that separates the sleeves from the front and the back same thing we are going to use here to be more quick uh, we can use alt shift and hit on one single edge and it's going to uh, follow the um, a path to make this leaves the, the the to to make a, a quick path between the, the the vertices and the edges so yeah, uh, now that we selected our, uh, our what are going to be the seams, well, let's uh, pretend that these are going to be a path where a scissor is going to uh, cut right the um, these edges, and they're going to separate them as we unwrap it. Um, it's going to be really. Uh, self-explained once we make it so we are going to uh, right click here on the on the viewport mark scene and you can see now we have this red uh, marks right uh, oh I think I forgot because if we want them to separate the um, no, we are going to click on those two, right? Because we have this, but we didn't have no this one and this one. We didn't have our front separated from the back. If not, it's going to be connected the front with this one. If we don't separate this and we don't mark the scene here, it's going to be connected with the front the back and the front are we are going to be connected if not so uh, okay right now we hit a to select everything as you can see the seams are, are the the, um, the UVs are not here because that's because we didn't grab it so we hit the U better uh, grab as, as you can see we have 
right now our front, our back, and our sleeves here and here. So that's it, guys. Uh, there's not much to say about this. Uh, we can have our UVs made later, as we can, as, as we have our T-shirt here. We are going to. Uh, the project is going to, uh, for example, save the ungraph as we save here. We go to save as. We're going to create another another uh, step, so we know the first one was the how we made the T-shirt. The second one is going to be the own wrap. So it's saved. Um, so yeah, um, we we have our bees, uh, our own wrap T-shirt, but we don't have the UVs to work in this later uh, to put the textures on it so what we are going to do is go to image new uh, we can go name this t-shirt uh, we can leave it like this uh, and 10, 10 24 um, we can leave the 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 color black or we can change it to I don't know gray but never mind and we are going to deselect the alpha and we can choose between UV grid and color grid this is going to create um, a grid as for us to know where the the lines of the UVs are going to pass through. Uh, some people are used to use this uh, as is a, as to have a reference uh, where the UVs can be. Um, but either way, it's it's um, I mean it's up to you how you want to how you want them to look like. Um, so yeah, uh, this can be your texture, and later on uh, you can uh, work this with the Photoshop. So um, we can, for example, go to Image, Save As, and as you see, we are have our tutorial shared English um, uh, file uh, folder here. So I'm going to name this t-shirt as you can see uh, and once we have our t-shirt image then it's going to be only the UV the, the only the UV grid you know this this grid with the colors you're going to hit on the UV export UV layout and we are going to change the fill opacity to 0.5 why because this is going to create um, the UVs but with uh, some certain opacity that we need for um, that we will need uh, later on to know where the, the, the UVs are um, so uh, we are going to go to a name it, for example, T shirt UV. And that's it. Now we have our T shirt with the UVs. And as we are going to work with this, for example, now that we made our UVs here, if you press A, you can subdivide and you will see how the UVs also uh, change within the, the project. So, okay guys, this is just uh, a quick tutorial for today. Uh, I'm going to bring you the next step uh, on the next video so we can add the materials 
and parent the t-shirt to the avatar so that way we are going to be able to uh, move the avatar and and check the weights as to later just upload the mesh to IMBU so well I hope you like the video um, if you have any questions you can uh, leave them in the comments and let me know what you think uh, if you like the the video hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel so thank you very much guys i'll see you next time